Sit back and relax for an evening with the Thames Men. Hello! Hello, George! How you doing? Good, thank you very much. You survived the Super Bowl? Yeah, not bad, not bad. How's your hangover? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tensman. And, and uh, you know, you're in safe hands, music lovers. Um, whenever you see this, Super Bowl would have gone mild, but we just had Super Bowl, didn't we? We did, yes. So for those Americans and the LA Rams, local team, they won. So they are... I dare say the world champions, because then you'll get a lot of people going, it's only America plays it, but they are Super Bowl champions. Well, tell people where you live. Los Angeles. I'm George and I live in Los Angeles. And I am Alex and I am in San Francisco and the Rams knocked out the uh, SF Giants, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, they sure did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was rooting for the Bagels. Bengals, bagels. The, the bagels? You having some yeah, bagels? Bengal bagels. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell I'm an European. Just like, You're obviously an avid follower of American football. I Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping. Yeah. Anyway, we got we got a big old night coming up ahead of us. What do we got? What do we got? One of our favourites, my man. One of our favourites. I can look at your hair and mm. I know you're going to be ecstatic. It's going <laughs> to be deep purple. Oh, I love some Deep Purple. Which I one? I love Deep Purple. Highway Star. Oh, uh, is it made in Japan? Yes, it is. Uh, it is made in Japan. Right. So everyone, anyone who didn't know, right. Okay. So Deep Purple, uh, a local band for where we're from. Yeah. And uh, we kind of know some of the people in Purple and whatever. And um, the, uh, the album that George and I grew up on, which it is a killer album, killer. It's live in Japan, isn't it? Made, yeah, made in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Made yeah, in is. Japan. Absolutely fantastic. 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 So anyway, this is Highway Star. And the reason why we came around, uh, uh, I came around this is because um, we, put out, we put out a questionnaire and it said, you know, what are your top five tracks? And for driving, and there was a plethora of tracks, brilliant tracks. But the one that kept keep coming up again and again and again was Highway Star. And I suddenly thought, oh, it's time for a bit of purple. I, I think a great way to kick off an evening, you know, just familiar but amazing. And uh, that should be good. So so if I understand correctly, this video is actually the it's it's the audio from Japan, but it's the video is Copenhagen. Is that right? And they they Copenhagen it up. Some and fans did it or something. Yeah, and a fan has synced it together, and mm. uh, I watched like first fifteen seconds because I thought it would be the, it was really well done. Okay, really. All right. well. You wouldn't uh, know. All right, let's do it. No. Uh, okay. All right, and uh, let's 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 have a track. And then, uh, ch- let's have a listen, and then we'll have a chat. And um, if you want to like and subscribe, we've got some great stuff coming up. We've got Sabaton's new single coming up. If you're not aware of Sabaton, oh. historical music, World War II with mad Swedish people. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got some uh, kinks. Cool I think we said we're going to do some kinks, aren't we? We're going to carry go, go, go. kinks. And we're going to do some done any Sabbath. Kinks. No, Sweet. we've done no kinks. We're going to do some Sabbath as well. Sabbath was uh, the first band I ever went and saw live. So I love Sabbath. And you set and you set an Afghan alight. No, my uncle set an Afghan alight. Not a dog, a coat. <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh, that really fucking middle class of you. Set fire, set fire to the Afghan. <laughs> just, I said, I'm off to shoot some badgers and I'm going to set fire to an Afghan. <laughs> That's really rock and roll there, Timmy. <laughs> right, let's do it. All Deep right, Purple, I- Made in Japan, Highway Star. Are you ready? <laughs> Turn it up loud. Yes, I'm ready. Get in your car, start driving now. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Familiar B3 sounds. Love that sound. John Lord is a monster, monster keyboardist.
Just like who, whoever did the job of syncing up that video did a sublime job of that. That was um, amazing. Believable <laughs> how they sync that up. I mean, two different gigs. No, I know. Uh, it shows how tight the band were. I, I, but I, I wonder how much they had to shift, slip things and adjust things. But damn, it, 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 it could have been. It, I mean, I've, I've seen worse video syncing when there was actually the real gig. <laughs> you know? I, know, so, I know, I know. They're just phenomenal. I mean, just... Oh my God, what a band. I've seen them live. I've seen them live quite a few times. They are freaking masters. They really, really are. Just so cool. And they just, they look, a uh, Gillen. I love Gillen. He's yeah, like, him. I love Gillen. I love, you know, he, uh, I think we, we repeated this before. You know, he had the Springs Hotel. Yeah. And we talked about it with this. We had in one of our earliest videos. We had, I put a picture up of it. It was like, he had a swimming pool shaped like a yeah, guitar. Yeah. When we went over there, his swimming, his guitar is a swimming pool. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> it, it, you know, and he so he was just down the road, and then we uh, we spoke about John Lord, John Lord, and, and his cricket matches, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll repeat that quickly. So John Lord, he used to say he that's a keyboardist. Just... Well, I think you should repeat it because it was our early videos, and probably no one saw them apart from a few. I know. Yeah, he, he used to have a cricket. He, when you go to his house, he had a cricket pitch at the front when you drive in, right? And he had a little pavilion, and they used to have they used to have the cricket, uh, you know, um, teams or whatever. So it was made up out of all the Harrys, Led Zeppelin, <laughs> my dad's band, 10 years after, and, uh, you know, and uh, Purple and all the rest. And you go up there and there would be just like rows and rows of Aston Martins and <laughs> Jags and whatever, and, you know, L, you know n- n- license plates like LSD1 or whatever. And then you would see all these people playing cricket. They'd all be white, but they'd all have like long hair to hand like that, <laughs> you know, and they'd come and they'd bolt and the hair would be everywhere. And, uh, uh, you know, I, t- I think I told you there was um, the biggest pedophile in history what was his name Gary um, glitter he was there and yeah. so i went i went to, like a fl- moth to the flame <laughs> i was i went to get his autograph you know and uh, he never touched me and, <laughs> and i now i think what's wrong with me well, why why did you go for gary glitter's autograph he had a he had a, he had a Rolls Royce, and on the uh, where the where the where the butterfly was, it was a crushed Coke can, and uh, and I think he just had it there to get the kiddies. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know it was covered in candy, was it? Yeah, or something? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I think I think he just he just had he, he knew what a kid would like you know what I mean I wasn't interested in the Harry's playing cricket he's like Jesus Christ it's Gary Glitter <laughs> it was a moth to the flame I tell you. 
anyway, so um, back to the band. Just absolutely phenomenal. I've, I mean, John, John Lord. Lord. John yeah. Lord on the keys is unbelievable. And everything about that track, particularly that the Made in Japan album, just sounds so good. I mean, it's not perfect. Some of that guitars lick was like, you could tell there was like some, you know, it was live. It was real, you know, it wasn't, yeah. but that was the fun of it. And like, but, but then when it just drops into that kind of that like, distorted bit, oh my God, so good. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going from an old memory here and someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they were off to a gig up in London and they had a lot of press on the board, on board. And they, and one of the guys in, in on the bus on the coach said, how, how do you write a song? And, and they said, well, you know, give us a subject. He goes, your car. Um, and they pretty much wrote it there and then. Oh, really? And then they did it that night to the journalists and uh, they they finished off in the back room and then came out and did that song. And wow. that's why it's got, it's got the lines. It's got wheels and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's got everything in it, you know, um, because they're not the most masterful of lyrics, but who cares? But, and also it's one of the only scripted uh, guitar solos as well for Richie Blackmore, right? Oh, really? Everything else he does, he does completely, you know, uh, ad hoc. Work. But that one is totally scripted every time because okay. he's got those arpeggios and those runs and stuff. Uh, well, but what pretty... a guitar solo. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, everything about it. And 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 who, who's the bass player for them? Well, shall we, uh, shall we take a break for the weather and come back and we'll find out who the bass player is? Yeah, actually, we need to check in on the weather. So uh, yeah. I, I, over to the weather centre, I'd say. No, no, no. Oh, uh, it's bloody hot. Yeah, it's bloody hot. That's it. I'm out. <sighs> okay. Not looking too good there, eh? Mm -hmm. um, so the bass player, of course, Roger Glover. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what <laughs> I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, absolutely phenomenal. But pace on the drums. Oh, yeah. Uh, every, every, uh, uh, the reason I brought up the bassist was because I want his hat. I freaking love that hat he had. Really? Like, yeah. I, I, you know me and my weird hat. Yeah, yeah I know. You've got this weird old fetish for hats, haven't you? Yeah, I know. I don't know why, but I, I really, I, I, I wish I could rock a hat like that, you know, because I would if I could. George, you could rock anything you want, my man. Well, I'm at that age where I don't really give a damn anymore, really. No, you know, exactly that. It, you know? I mean, you'll but be rude. Is... you'll be rude to me. You'll make some funny joke. You'll say you look like the Marlboro Man or something like that, and then we'll move on. You know. But the uh, the 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 drummer Pace, old yeah. Pacey, um, one of the world's best drummers, for, yeah. for hands down for sure. And um, what I will do is at the end of um, end of the credits of the Thamesman, I'm going to put an extra video on the end, and it's going to be burn, but it's done by an 11 year old drummer by oh. a Japanese girl. Oh, yeah. But Ian Pace will be reviewing it. Um, and it's a kind of, you know, it's a separate, so at the end of this, you can stay on for that. But the reason why I want to do that is because this 11-year-old girl, Japanese girl, is such a world-class phenomenal drummer and she's taken everyone by storm. But with Pace watching it as well, you will realise by watching the video how good pace is if you know what i mean okay because uh, he will be analyzing critiquing it and uh, you'll watch this drummer and you think there's no way anyone could drum like that but pace does it he's yeah. just a phenomenal drummer i'll put that okay. on the end as, as a bonus you know bonus bonus feature and so you can stick around to the end very clever i like oh it. Yeah. didn't even think of that one oh. didn't even think of that one shall we uh take uh well we'll do wanger and banger um and then we'll come back uh after the break and we'll see uh see what sort of banger it is yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll have a quick quick uh, message from our sponsors and then we'll be straight into wanger or banger. So, all right. Sponsor. Don't talk back. Burt Reynolds calls himself Bandit One. I put the pedal to the metal. I'm 1010 on the side. Jerry Reed calls himself Bandit Two. We're going to really have to cook. And Jackie Gleason, a sheriff, Buford T. Justice, calls them a whole lot worse. I got a barbecue yard. Burt Reynolds, Sally Field, Jerry Reed, and Jackie Gleason in Smokey and the Band. Rated PG, and that's a Big Ten Four, good buddy. The Taste of India. It's 
experience the taste of India. The Regency Tandoori Restaurant. Private functions catered for. Takeaway service available. Don't talk back. All right. All right. Well, I'm I'm hungry after that. Well, the taste of India. Taste of India. Oh, I tell you what. Doesn't get it, finer than that, does it? It makes you it. You see an advert like that, show show the quality of the food off. It just really makes you want to go. Well, it is England's national dish now, Curry. And, it is. and yeah, go, going to. The, I love that in the. I love that in the advert with the with the guy in his little booth. Pour, pour, the photos have been pouring a rather bad pint of bitter. I mean, I, I've definitely been to curry houses and I've oh, another pint, mate, and he'll come over and it's still like, oh, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> we, have, we have a curry shop here in San Francisco and it's really expensive. It's called Amber. And, okay. you know, and I, go, I went down there and when they served chicken, it tasted like chicken. And when it tasted like lamb, it was lamb. It tasted like lamb. It's like, that's not a curry. <laughs> It, you're meant to have this generic meat, and then yeah, the curry yeah. hides it, the flavour, right? Oh, the flavour's overwhelmed. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it's so bad. Yeah. The meat you might, you've got to chuck on all this, and it was like, no, I am not paying this money to have good meat. I I was very disappointed. I want more subpar food, and <laughs> you know that was too high quality. So so on, on the curry hotness scale, I think it starts at like a fowl, doesn't it? Yeah, and then you got a vindaloo, yeah. and then a madras, and then yeah. a korma. And then you're is like, there a rogan? Uh, rogan? What's the type of dish? I don't think it's a temperature is, yeah. already. And then, and then you got like the chicken tikka masala, merg, you know, kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. On that scale, where are you? If, I, if, 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 what, what, show how, how, how manly I, are you? I have only had a vindaloo once. Really? Yes, but the curry scale in America is different to the curry scale in England. So you have an American vindaloo, but you wouldn't have an English vindaloo. Yes, correct. Uh, how about you? And I'm really, a vindaloo. You would, yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Oh, never done a foul. Never done. No, a I've foul. never done a foul. No, 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 no. Anyway, but, but yeah. So anyway. All right. Okay. So uh, I think it's time for us to get to banger or wanger. <sighs> All right. Okay. Is so, it bang or wanger? Is it is it bang or wanger? Is it all wanger and banger? Which way around is it? Bang or wanger or wanger and banger? It's a banger or a wanger. You just went wanger and banger. Wow. <laughs> but nitpicking. then, see, nitpicking. All right. Yeah, but then okay. people get very upset if we get, like, when our cameras swap sides. Yes. It, dri it drives people like, poof. I know, I know. And I actually got my brother in law, Ali, he actually phoned me up to complain that we're, <laughs> we're on the wrong side. It was like, dude, get a life. He goes, yeah, but it really upset me. It was just like, <laughs> Good. <laughs> and people, do you want to know why we swap sides? Uh, well, <laughs> because we idiots. can. <laughs> we can, and that's that. So there you go. Right, so wanger or banger. George, is it a wanger or banger? Uh, it's a banger. It's a huge banger. It, it is, like, for me, that's like a, like a you know, it's, it's like a, it's a vindaloo banger, that one for me. Oh, I was going to say 24 carat banger. <laughs> well, it could be a 24 carat vindaloo banger. 24 carat vindaloo banger. You, you can go. get no better than that. <laughs> so get well, that on a t-shirt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, brilliant. I'm if you can get away, if you can get the curry stains off the t-shirt, you can have that on there instead. <laughs> the taste uh, of India. The taste of India. George, oh. that was great. If um, anyone else would like to see any more purple... Um, if you could like and subscribe down there, because we've got great stuff coming up. Uh, we've got uh, the Kinks, we've got Sabbath, we've got Sabaton, we've got some Metallica. Um, so, yeah, some good, solid rock stuff coming up. Um, and then what track shall we do next on Purple? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So right. thank you for being here and, and thank you for your yeah. support, everyone. We really appreciate it. Uh, stick around for the extra bonus video at the end. Uh, and um, we'll see you on <gasps> the flip side. The flip side. <laughs>
She hits harder than I do. Great stuff. Great hand speed. Yes, yes. Great stuff. Best thing is she's having fun. <laughs> I see many guys in cover bands trying to do this song three, four times her age and they, they, they can't do it. <laughs> You've nailed it. Yeah, she got that bit right too. Well, almost right. Now it's right. People realize how much effort that takes for somebody that young. It's amazing. She's probably playing it like the record, but there's a couple of little fills you could play there inside the rhythm. Should be like a, a lazy waltz in it. Da da da. This is the bit I usually get wrong. Good stuff, yeah.
Superb, superb, that cheeky little face, I like it. Wow, that's something.